I'm more nervous than he is. Isn't that weird? He's got so much control. Once he found himself on the Crankworks World Tour, he's had consistent results at every event he's entered. Currently sitting in podium position, familiar territory, Tim Bringer. Big speed. Huge yeah. double tail with backflip. The height on that. The judges are definitely going to score that. So the way. Double backflip on the step yes. down. Perfect. Double, double tail whip on the hip. Opposite. Big towards his front 360, 360 tail up to Barston, so he's not settling for third. He wants more. Tuck no handed backflip. Triple Whoa. struck out of the whale tail. Double oh. backflip, no hander. He held it so long. Keep it together. Keep it together. Hey. Right. Invert on the quarter pipe. <laughs> okay, okay. So he was <laughs> worst he could do was a bronze medal. Oh, you know he's shooting for higher. So that's your starting point. <laughs> Worst case scenario, bronze medal. This guy drops in and executes those difficult maneuvers to such a high degree that on his double backflip, he not only extends the arms all the way, he holds them out. You're upside down with another flip still to be done, and your hands are extended off the bike. That was, that was unlike anything I've ever seen. The double flip on the step down. Big double tail with backflip. Caught early too. Yeah, he was dialed on that one. And this, the double backflip on the step down. That is so blind. Deep. He was at like the last bike length and a half of landing space. And then here's the triple. Look at him keep those elbows into his waist. Jeez. He, how many frames were his feet perfectly on the pedal before? Landing. Triple's gonna really factor into the scores. And there it is. Double backflip, no hander. Does that first backflip, takes his hands off on the way up. Second backflip on the way down. He Perfect held execution. So much confidence on that. You go a ground angle so we can really see the amplitude and how flat the table was on the quarter pipe. That was huge. I'm gonna say he's gonna improve his score. Will it move him up in the rankings? A 93.75. He holds on to third place. Fedka really takes a different approach at this, you know? He looks good, he feels good, his style's there. Let's see what he's got on this course. All right. I'm really excited for this run here. Eric Fedko on course. A truck to X up on the first. Yes, come on, get Huge it. Superman seeker at backflip on that jump. The wind was not affecting him at all. Double backflip, double bar spin backflip. Straight into an Indian three, textbook style. Oh, yes. Oh. Truck to tail whip. Here yes. we go. Downside off a whip three. Flip. Oh, let's go. Oh, boy. He's pedaling back up to the top. You know he's celebrating after that one. That was an amazing run. Listen. Listen. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't want to be a judge right now. We're at that point in the competition. I wouldn't want to be a judge, but he just put the pressure on on our top two seated riders. Jeez. We still okay. got Nikolai and Emil to go. Yeah. They're up there, they just watch that whole thing go down and they know they have to put everything they have out on the course in order to catch up to what most likely his score is gonna be. <laughs> the run has it all. Not only the tech combos inspired by BMX, but let's, one, two, three, pause, please. Look at this, straight as a board, horizontal. Look at this, you could not ask for more extension. Completely horizontal. The execution category is going to be spotless. And the variety category is going to be spotless. This run is exactly what I like to see in a Crankwork slope style performance. Absolute extension right there. There's no way that could have been any bigger. And watch this landing as he comes in. Spots his landing with those eyes. Both tires come in straight at the next jump. Yeah, everything is building here right now. This is ridiculous. We've seen some triumphs. We've seen some struggles. And we got the top two ranked riders coming up next. Look at this, watch him catch the whip. Just tell me if you notice anything. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think maybe he was thinking about spinning those bars again. <laughs> I think he has another run too. So after that huge run, maybe not all of it's in the tank for Fedco. But you know what? It's great to have things like that in order to up the ante because he'll still get scored for what that is. And it's just a hint that he has more in the tank. Come on, 
The 360 windshield wiper, a trick that Emil Johansson brought to the slope style scene at the time was unthinkable. Now, Fedco on it. Fedco and Emil riding together so much. Check out their series on Red Bull TV called Raising the Bar. They push each other, each other to this level that they're both on right now. And the big question at the moment, what will the score be for Eric Fedko? I don't know, what would you, what would you call it? Well, the score to beat is 92.25 from a guy who did a couple double backflips. What's, 95, ow, 0.25 in the lead, Eric Fedko. No way. Hi, Tom Stoke, he's ready. We've got 4.75 points left for Rogakin and, and Johansson. Crazy to think this kid's still just 22 years of age out of Sweden. Here we go. Better Emil Johansson on course. Nice. Fast plant, 360 to X up. Wow, nice. Spin front flip to no hander. Let's see what he's got. Oh! Windshield wiper on the hip. <laughs> what? Come on, get it, get it. Double downside. Come on. Oh, the height and the amplitude he has on these Oh, what is happening right now? Hard <laughs> mark back opposite 360. What is happening? Oh, oh, double whip. Okay, the quarter pipe. Oh, he got it! Tail whip. Come on! <laughs> there is so much technicality in that run, going both directions with tail whips, with 360s, with bar spins. What he just did what? was he took the bangers from the final what? jump of years. That was unbelievable, bro. Oh, my God. Look at Nikolai. He took those tricks that he used to end his run with and he did them on the most technical features. <laughs> Stepping up every aspect of his run from last year. <laughs> I, 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 I have, when I close my eyes, I see one number right now and it's seven. There are so many unexpected moments here. Fast plant, 360 X up. Into a front flip bar spin to no hander. Unbelievably smooth. Watch where he lands on this. We saw other riders having trouble with the wind. Not a meal. Straight in, both tires at the same time. No compromise on the extension whatsoever. And this is what he usually finishes his run with. Come on. On the new step down. Now this is a regular spin 360, and then he's gonna kick the tail up the opposite direction twice. I, I don't even know where to begin how to explain how difficult that actually is, but he's doing it on a hip mid-run to complete perfection. Right when you think you know what the trick is, there's another trick that starts. Like when most riders are putting their feet on the pedals, he's starting another rotation of what he just finished. And so you can see here, he's spun the, he's spinning the opposite direction, so that's gonna be an opposite bar spin to regular tail whip. So technical. A opposite 360, so when there's three elements there, two of them are opposite, one of them is regular. <laughs> there's too many bangers, we didn't even get to the final jump. Yeah, let's see what this is gonna go. Oh, come on, 98! Uh, yes, it did. 98! 